I will show you how to make a complete Photoshop edit from 0 to 100 from a raw idea and achieve such a result. Hello to all my YouTube friends, how are you? Today we are going to have a lot of fun with a new video and I will teach you Photoshop in a new and very different way to change your view of the world of graphics. If you don't believe me, stay with me until the end of the video and tell me your opinion in the comments. At the same time, to support my work and the energy I put in, please subscribe to the channel so that we can get to the from idea to the end, 0 to 100 with the video. Well, first of all, let's do a course on the general idea of the work. The idea of the work is that we are going to design a valley that we are looking at from above and a train is moving from above and the two adventurers of our story are sitting with their things and are going to their adventure to make their own story. And in this adventure, they are going to enter the Skull Valley, a place that has never been visited by today's humans. And many dangerous things are waiting for them on their way. Let's go to finish the work with these attributes. First of all, I select Jack, the first adventurer of the story. Meet Jack Guy. Jack has been in love with adventure and finding ancient treasures since he was a child. And now he is 21 years old. He lives single and goes on all his adventures with his little pet dog, Patrick. His field of study is geography and his mother is one of the famous Australian archaeologists. According to himself, he loves exciting and stressful things Really, nigga? and is currently looking for a hidden treasure in Skull Island. Well, when I select Jack, I make a beautiful backpack for him and adjust the color, light and shadow, and place him on the train track and correct the shadow and color. To add more details, I will put a map and a pair of boots next to his hand so that the work will look more professional and the story of our adventure will be more complete. And of course, I adjusted in terms of light, color and shadow with color balance. After all this, it is the turn of Jack's loyal dog, Patrick. Patrick has been playing with Jack since he was 17 years old and has saved him from certain death four times. His favorite food is rotten fish with ketchup sauce and at night he likes to watch Spongebob animation before sleeping. Well, after I selected our dog, I put him next to Jack and like Jack, I adjust the shadow, light and color, and now I keep them until now. I want to go to the work environment of Skull Valley, for the part of the hill on the upper hand where the main view is from. I use this photo and make the perspective and separate the part that I want. And then I like to add a little more detail to the environment. And for this purpose, on the upper hill there is a like a cave. I want to create a train coming out of there. That's why I use this photo and create the walls of the cave and adjust it with warp and finally add the color, light and shadow and go to create the antique statue left by the ancients in this island. Well, from this photo, I used it for the main body of the statue and tried to create wall designs with warp and distort and complete the statue and finally put it in the environment and add its colors and shadows. After that, I go to the main part of the valley, that is, the mountain in the center of which there is our famous cursed skull. Well, for this part, I used a large number of different mountain photos, and with the pen tool, I separated the desired parts from each photo and put them together, and after creating the general view of the valley, I put the skull into the valley and tried to bring it into the environment with tree and bush brushes. And when I have prepared the landscape, I go to make the sky and make the light source. Well, to make the sky, I will again try to use several different photos of the sky to design my own sky and finally be able to display a beautiful sunset. I did this by changing the mode of the different layers I used to screen and color dodge. And then I went to the different parts of the mountain one by one and based on the distance from the light source, I adjusted the light and color and completed the perspective. And in order not to make this work too long, I only do it myself by counting three seconds. Three days later. After we were able to create the desired atmosphere in the valley, I will try to phase the hill above the valley with the rest of the environment, 
and the main subjects of the story, Jack and Patrick, into the final environment and atmosphere, and adjust the light and color, and prepare them to finish their adventure. And finally, I go to the skull and illuminate the inside of his eye sockets, so that from the same distance you can understand what dangerous disasters await poor Jack. For the skull part, just like the other parts, I first adjust the color, and then apply the appropriate highlight based on the light source, and finally light up the eyes and put it in the environment until the work reaches its end. And finally, by adding a few layers of adjustment, color, fog and smoke, I finish the work, and this was the result of the adventure project of Jack and Patrick. Well guys this is the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed today's project. Until another Saturday and another video, take care.